Okay, that's it for Formula One uh, until next season. Let's talk about the Super Falcons of Nigeria now. Over the weekend, uh, they took on Equatorial Guinea. They needed to win that game convincingly, and they did just that. 6 0 uh, ended in favor of Nigeria. Assisa uh, you know, was able to silence uh, a lot of our critics uh, with uh, three goals uh, in that match. Uh, Wilfred, uh, Nigeria, Equatorial Guinea. Equatorial Guinea, we already seen them in this competition. Yeah. Uh, getting you know, beating blue, black, and red by mm. everyone they faced. Uh, the Super Falcons did uh, what they were supposed to do. Yeah. Six nil, very impressive. Yeah, very, very impressive. Even though um, the number of goals Nigeria ended up scoring against Equatorial like, Guinea would not have mattered, um, even if uh, we because had of teams. the other results. Yeah, but anyway, uh, it's good to see that they scored six, and that pushed them to the top of um, goal scoring in the competition, having right. scored 10. No other team has scored 10 in this competition. And again, Faziza Toshuala, after missing many chances against mm. Namibia, uh, rather Zambia, it was good to see her come back and score a hat-trick, mm. and that will surely count as a boost for her Absolutely. going into the semi-finals. But again, is um, I think the coach has done some talking to her. Look, when you get into that space, you mustn't take uh, the shot yourself. You can actually find your man, uh, but mm. at the same time, she's kind of overdoing it also because there are certain cases where she should have a go <laughs> at goal and she would be looking for someone to you know square play to. But in all, like coming up against Cameroon last year's finalist, Nigeria mm. beat them in the final. Desire Baran as you're scoring, tight the one. it's going to be very tight, no doubt. I, I saw them play in, in that game against Ghana uh, where they eliminated the Ghanaians, the host nation. They looked very, very solid. And so they will be coming for a revenge. But I think the biggest mistake that all the participants in this competition made was actually applaud South Africa beating the Super Falcons. Because that's like uh, uh, think a wake-up call to the Super Falcons. Like, oh, wow, everybody's talking about so the Everybody should get scared now. Yes, actually, <laughs> okay. because they are going to approach okay. every game with every level of seriousness. So don't don't wake the tiger. All right, yeah. uh, let's go to our highs uh, on the ground. Our own Cecilia Omorogwe is right there uh, in Ghana. She's been telling us uh, what's, hap what's happening with the Super Falcons. And, of course, she has a report put together uh, to show us... Uh, the mood uh, in uh, the camp of the Super Falcons. After more than three hours road trip from Cape Coast to Accra, there is no rest day for the Super Falcons returning to training in preparation for the semi-final match against Cameroon on Tuesday. <laughs> The players understand the importance of this game. We have nothing, not, nothing to leave, leave behind. We are going 100% to play that game because we know what's at stake. So we are 100% motivated to go for the game. Yeah, the NFF, our supporters back home. I think the rest of the world were 100% motivated to go for this game on, against Cameroon. Uh, we are motivated on Tuesday game, but we'll see as NFL for more motivation. That's what we need. And I know they are trying their best to see that we, they do all they can to see that we we are happy. But we still need more motivation for the girls and the young players and our entire team to see that we do well in this tournament. A very tough uh, opponent for us. Obviously, we won them in the final last year and I know they want to come all out. If we won than 1%, they want to win Nigeria, you know. Uh, difficult game, but I mean, everything is in order in the camp. Everyone is ready, no distractions from any angle. The president of Nigeria, President Wari, uh, Mama Jipinik, the federation president, the secretariat, everyone is actually making sure from their own part, they're making sure everything is in order in the camp. So I don't think there's any distraction, no excuses for us not to perform on Tuesday. So. Uh, we just want to plead with Nigerians to give us their support on Tuesday to support the Super Falcons. We put in our best and make sure we don't disappoint them. On Tuesday, nothing short but victory because we really want to get back to our our cup, our trophy. We want to take it back home and we're here to qualify for the World Cup of which we want to play next year. So hopefully on Tuesday we're going to do what we know how to do best and take the cup back home. A victory over Cameroon on Tuesday will not only put the Super Falcons in the final, it will also secure a ticket for them for the 2019 World Cup in France. From Accra in Ghana, Cecilia Omogbe for Channels Television News.
All right, that bright smile from Cecilia Amorowe, letting us know that all is well in the camp uh, of the Super Falcons. And of course, we can, we can sit back, relax, and expect them to bring back the trophy to Nigeria. And guys, let's just, yeah. I mean, there's nothing else you want to hear from the girls that you have not heard. Of course. Super confident girls. Yeah. Experienced, they've won it many times. And, you know, the girls are not thinking of anything less than, you know, bringing it back. Exactly. And um, in all honesty, when you've won this competition back to back, losing it just twice mm -hmm. against, um, losing it twice to Equatorial Guinea, then you should be in this kind of mood. And again, when you look at the quality that Nigeria has, we, I mean, lots of them play abroad. And when I say abroad, they play in very good leagues. Leagues, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So it, everybody should be confident, mm -hmm. in all honesty. Mm -hmm. And everybody's scoring at the same time. If it's not um, Azizat, it's um, Rashidat. If it's not Paranas, Paranazia's minutes is being managed. We hear she has a slight injury, so oh, okay. Denebi is managing her playtime. Mm. Yeah, but Anna Mimo came in, even though she missed some chances also. But again, it's the goals is being spread even from the midfield. Inter Chico, interesting, interesting that you mentioned uh, that, that, that the scoring of goals are being spread uh, around the team. Uh, I saw the shoulder there, uh, MVP. <laughs> yeah, woman of the, the match making. against uh, in the making eventually. Okay. Let's let's see how that pans mm. out. But against the uh, Equatorial Guinea, there was no doubt. Uh, yeah, sure. When you score three goals, uh, it's only right. Uh, you are the woman uh, of the match. Uh, you talk about the attacking uh, yeah. options uh, with the team. Asisa Shola has been talking uh, about that as well because okay. after this game, she was asked a lot about uh, 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 ch the chances uh, she missed uh, in the mm. previous uh, two games and. And our reaction and response is quite uh, interesting. Let's get to listen to uh, Asat Oshola now on the, the attacking options available for coach Thomas Denadi. Get the 